Okay, I think we are live. I think we are live here, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great, great morning. Uh, we are going to have another fun comparison for you this morning. We are going to compare Flare 58 versus uh, Lillet Bianca right behind me. So let's find out. Can we tell the difference in these two shots? I'm going to have my young Sal is joining us. Uh, he's going to run the Flare 58 and I'm going to pull the shot with uh, Lillet Bianca. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be dosing 20 gram uh, coffee from Good Brothers Coffee from Costa Rica. Wonderful tasting notes. Chocolate, brownie, caramel, and pink lemonade. Okay, so hopefully we are going to grab that pink lemonade uh, tasting notes. And there comes the grinder of the day is a uh, Cafetec MC5. Is our grinder for today. And let's let's get going again if you're joining us for the first time welcome to live streaming what? and uh, we are also doing the simulcast with my discord channel as well again but uh, if you're brand new to the channel let me know okay let me know if you are here I can't acknowledge you uh, just join the live chat okay we got some few people watching right now about seven people watching this morning uh, it should be a lot of fun I cannot wait to uh, by the way, the, uh, Sarah's been, uh, how, how, is the first time using Flare, correct? Yeah. So Sarah is using for first time using the Flare. So, I mean, they're so easy to use. I mean, you're going to see, okay? You're going to see. I mean, e if a Sarah can use it, anybody can use it. Yeah, it, it's that easy to use. Uh, enough talking and let's brew some coffee. Okay, again, we are going to brew 20 gram this morning. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start with a little bit of RDT. Okay. Here we go. And uh, I'm using the MC5 as a grinder. You know what? Let's uh, flip the camera. MC5 is a conic rubber grinder from Cafe Tech. Uh, works really good, by the way. Okay, so there's 71 millimeter flatware grinder. As you can see, uh, grinds are very uniform. Okay, very uniform there. So, I mean, um, most times you don't need distribution. I'm just going to use my uh, force temper here. This should be a little bit. That's it. Okay, so this is done. Set to the side. Let's work on flare. Okay, I'll hand it to me. All right. It's nice and hot. I'm going to go shot number two. Again, a little bit of RDT here. If you don't know what Flare 58 is, a Flare 58 is a manual machine with 
heating element on the top as well so you don't have to worry about preheat the coffee machine okay this is all automatic for you and again man grinds are very uniform we are using the 20 gram here so we are all good to go with the flare 58 you have to use the puck screen that's must okay okay so sarah is ready to go and then for me i'm using mine all right sarah are you ready over there So let's go like one to two ratio. Okay, just lock it in. Good, perfect, excellent. Okay, I'm just gonna go like that. So Sar is about to pull the shot. Uh, let's go one to two ratio. Like you know, for you, don't worry about time. Okay, worry about the uh, the yield. And then for me, uh, I'm going to about the same as well. Uh, let's do like a 20 gram in like between like 40 and 45 gram. Okay, close enough. So let's try to go uh, under 45, under 45 gram there. I'm going to have a Sal pull the shot. Are you ready to pull the shot, Sal? I'm ready. Go ahead. So just pour in as I pull it up. Right? Yep, uh, pour for, uh, put the water first. And then slowly, yep, not yet, yep, K keep, keep pulling. Mm -hmm. Pull, 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 keep going. Go ahead. Keep pouring more. Yep, yep, keep pouring the water there. All the way up, keep going. Good, keep going. Good, keep going the water there. Just, keep yep, keep pouring. Just make sure you have no water bubble. Okay, good. Yeah, I like to shake it in there. Okay, so now you're good to go. Okay, and go ahead and pull the shot there, Sal. I'm gonna have uh, Sarah is about to pull the shot. And then for me, I'm ready, to, ready to go here. For this end, I'm trying to shoot for 45 gram. Okay. Stuck. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. There we go. I'm trying to shift for about 45 gram. You got how many gram? 42? 41. 41 gram. Okay. I'm going to stop at 41 like Sarah does. Okay, 41 gram. I'm at like, I'm over extracted by uh, 39 seconds, but we'll see how it goes. Still dripping. Still dripping as, as well. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then you are going to pull it back. Okay. So this is the sows. Man, that's pretty weak. The shot is not as... Yeah. I mean, the piston got stuck. Yeah, the piston got stuck. Go down. It's all right. So we're gonna do, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mix it up here, okay? I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna have a sow blind taste. I wonder, he can, I wonder he's gonna tell the difference or not. Sorry, why don't you go outside for a second? Okay. I'm gonna have a salad, do some blind tasting here. Okay. 
Go ahead, sir. Okay, if you're just joining us. So Sir is uh, blind tasting. I'm gonna have him taste for a little bit, okay? I'm gonna have him let us know the results. I mean, but again, I mean, this is, we are doing for fun, guys, okay? So this is for fun, okay? Because it's so hard to give you guys, you know, the proper uh, results because it's based on this test, we are looking at just one coffee, one grinder, okay? So there's no such thing as which grinder is better, which coffee machine, does all depend on your technique. This is uh, Sarah's first time using it as well. You know, it does some, I mean, it is really easy to use, but still, okay, you have to learn the machine as well, so. So Sarah, what is your initial impression? My initial is this one's a little, too acidic, maybe. Is which one you prefer? Let's see. So, so I'm gonna have Sal. Do you have the winner? I'm just gonna. Sal is waiting. So I, I want I want Sal to give uh, give me the answers. The winner is this one here. Really? So that one was a uh, here or here? This one has been here the whole time. Whole time. This one is here. Wow. Okay, that's surprising. So, Sal, the winner is uh, Flare Fifty Eight. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me why you pick out the uh, uh, Flare Fifty Eight over Lilac Bianca? I feel like the chat with the Bianca was a little acidic, a bit too acidic. Wow. I feel like this one has a bigger body to it. Flair has more bigger body. Is that this one? No, no, no that one is the uh, Bianca. Are you sure? I wonder if I switched them up on accident. Because it seems like this one had more crema. Okay. I think that was Bianca. That's Bianca. So you pick out the uh, Alama crema ones or less crema ones? I think I like this one more. What was it? Less I think, crema? I think, yeah. Less crema, yeah. Okay, so again, the winner is the uh, uh, Flare 58. Okay, so you heard. You heard it first. All right. Okay. I mean, this is a great thing about uh, blind tasting. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. comes to resort-wise. And then uh, Sar thought uh, Bianca was too acidic. Okay. Too acidic. Which means... Uh, so you wasn't bitter. It was bitter or sour? Okay, again, I mean, Sar has to think about it. He have the, he, he's drinking it again, so. I think it's better as it cooled out, yeah. but uh, a little sour. Okay, a little sour, which means it's under-extracted. Very, again, it's, it's different from coffee to coffee, and different brewing method, different dosing amounts. I mean, this is very complicated. I mean, it is easy, it comes to, you know, if you want to join, uh, drink them coffee, but man, it is not, that's why blind taste is so subjective. Okay, so subjective. But it is a lot of fun, though. It is a lot of fun. Give you that, you know, kind of like give you initial impression. And I mean, if you never used a coffee uh, machine before, like if you never used coffee uh, flare before, I mean, at least, you know, you know what to expect. I mean, Sal, he never used that coffee machine before. I mean, it's pretty easy, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, he never used that flare 58. It's so easy. If Sal can do it, anyone can. All right. 
And then, uh, again, uh, Giovanni asked me, is there an advantage of a ripple base on the, f oh, no, there's no advantage. Okay, there's no advantage. Just a look, that's it. All right, it's gonna be give you the same quality shot every time, just the look of it, so yeah. And then we have a Choa B K. Try another round of shot. Uh, maybe next time. Okay, maybe next time we're gonna do another. I mean, another round of shot there. Uh, I'm using the precision uh, basket from IMS Precision Baskets. Uh, so, so I have a two identical basket from IMS. That's what I'm using. So this is a 20 gram basket. All right, 20 gram baskets. Uh, George, you say personal preference plays yeah huge. I mean, again, taste is such subjective. Even though yeah, identical shots, right, back to back, something happens in your taste bud. You know, sometimes it give you a completely different perspective on flavor notes. I mean, that's why you know if you ask somebody, hey, which grinder is better, they're gonna give you answers based on that person's uh, taste bud. That doesn't mean you may. You may like it, you may not like it. So the best thing for you is whoever getting the recommendation from, okay, your friends or whoever, go sit down with that person and do the uh, make coffee together, okay? Do the exact same coffee from that grinder or that coffee machine and see if that's the something, you know, if the same coffee, taste it. If that person says great, okay which means you guys have about a similar taste so you can take that person's recommendation but you thought coffee was okay that the other person thought is amazing is way off which means don't trust that person's opinion you know not as much okay that doesn't mean you don't have to you know you don't trust it but you know give some thoughts okay because you have a different taste okay they have, you have different taste buds we have a uh, max from mato uh, how do you think of a puck screen? Uh, the reason why I like using puck screen is one reason. Okay, let me show you why I like to use it. Okay. Not because you're going to get a, a great coffee. Okay. Because of dry puck. That's it. That's the reason I like using puck screen. Because uh, what's going on, uh, what's happening is whenever you brew the coffee, uh, the water pressure push down the puck as well to create a dry puck, all right? And then um, same as a flare. Can you uh, take that for me as well? With the flare, pretty much the same concept as well. Okay, having the, uh, having the puck screen, having the dry puck, okay? And if you use without the, dry, uh, without the puck screen, obviously you're going to have a little bit more wet puck, but I mean, that's the only reason. I know some people likes to have puck screen for, you know, give you a better shot quality. I haven't noticed it yet with puck screen and without the puck screen. But again, you're going to have least clean uh, port filter. Okay. And then uh, Elaine said, okay, no paper, no paper, uh, no pep, uh, puck screen uh, this time. Uh, I think I wish to the next session. Okay. Not today. I think we're done. We make enough coffee today, goodness. I don't know how many shots we did, but. So before we did uh, this session, we did round of shot to set the grind setting right. And still, grind setting is off. Identical grind setting. We got a perfect shot right before. And this, this round, I was off by 10 seconds. Because water temperature changes as well, and also moisture in the air, uh, something to do with it too. So again, so shot to shot, you're gonna see a lot of available comes to coffee, okay? That's why coffee is so much fun. I mean, just like Mr. Rainbow say, coffee's fun. I mean, this is why it's unpredictable, all right? Unpredictable. So if you have coffee shops, coffee shops looking for that predictability, because you want to be exact same shot, shot to shot to shot. That's why you pay a lot of money for uh, their coffee machines. But at home, who cares, right? All right. I mean, if you got a bad shot, you're gonna try again tomorrow. But I mean, you need that consistency in uh, in uh, coffee shop. It's commercial because you don't have to make amazing coffee, but you need to be consistent. Okay. What else? Uh, I think we are good for this morning session here. It was a lot of fun. Huh? It's a lot of fun to have Sal joining us today. 
And uh, you might join us on Saturday as well, so maybe, yeah, yeah. okay. So Sarah's gonna join us, and uh, uh, we're gonna do some wash coffee. Okay, let's do some wash. Today, we did a lot of processed coffee today. Uh, uh, but Costa Rica is washed coffee as well, but this is medium roast. Maybe Saturday, we're gonna go really light roast on Saturday as well. I mean, this coffee is a very interesting coffee from uh, Costa Rica, from Good Brothers Coffee. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, I love the, the finishing note of a pink lemonade. All your shots, it's good. Okay, it's really nice. I mean, if you haven't tried, you know what? I know most of you like medium to dark roast, kind of like chocolatey notes, but I mean, try something else, okay? I, I highly encourage you guys to try different coffee, okay? At least once, guys, okay? Just at least once. And then you should have some fun with it. And then we have, uh, let's see here, friends from Mato. I mean, Mato's been, they're, they're coming, up, coming up with a lot of coffee gadgets over the years. So what's the latest? I think, I, I think Mato is, uh, Max, is that you? I, I think it's a Max from Mato. Yeah. Lim say, what profile do you put on 50? Uh, Lim. Uh, that's the first time he's using it. Okay, I don't think. Uh, uh, you do any kind of pre infusion? Yeah. So, I mean, so Sal does pre infusion. And the fact is, even though he's first time using it, um, Sal is a professional barista in our local uh, coffee shop here in Tucson. So, yeah, I mean, I mean you know, he, he knows how to work it. Okay, he knows how to work it. So, even though he's first time using Flare, but Flare is pretty much the same as. Uh, you know, using any other coffee machines. Okay. Java asking me, Hoon, if you had to pick one country to have a coffee for the rest of your life and where? Oh, goodness. I mean, I, I really like tea like coffee, right? I really like tea like coffee. I do enjoy geisha. Uh, Col uh, Colombia has a pretty good geisha as well. Costa Rica does. Uh, Panama. Panama has a fantastic geisha coming out from Panama reason. So maybe like Panama geisha. If I'm going to pick one coffee, you should be Panama. Okay. Okay, so we have, uh, Ahmed ask, uh, do you have uh, any Kenyan? SL20, Kenyan? Kenyan. Kenyan. Is it Kenyan? Okay. SL28 or 34 variety? Uh, sounds like airplane, right? SL28 or SL34. It's not an airplane or... Uh, that's the Scott Lab, okay? So they come up with a different variety. Very interesting. Yeah, they're asking to me as well. I'd probably pick um, for like, if I, yeah, to get co uh, coffee from one country for the rest of my life, it'd probably be between Colombia and Ethiopia. Probably Colombia. There's a lot of even though it's the same country, there's a lot of different types of coffee coming from Colombia. They They've, uh, you know, made a lot of progress in lots of crazy processing, stuff like that. You get a lot of different tasting coffees there. So, obviously, our cell likes the Columbia. Anyway, uh, so here's a lot of fun this morning. And then uh, I'm going to have uh, have Sal come back on Saturday. We're going to do some more testing done, okay, more comparison. Yeah, more comparison. I mean, I love comparison. I don't know about you guys, but... But I mean, that's kind of like the best, that's the best way to find out, right? But the, here, here's the thing about uh, having a different coffee grinders or a different coffee machine to play with. The fact is you guys only have a one grinder and one uh, coffee machine at home, so you've got nothing to compare to, okay? I mean, that's, that's great, all right? This makes life a lot easier. Just like watching a TV every single day, okay? If you turn on your TV, you have so many choices. Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, local cable. They got thousands and thousands of different programming. You know, I mean, guess what? In the next five, ten minutes, you just go through, you know, flip around the programs. If you, if you only have a one or two choice, it makes your life a lot easier. Just like your copy bar setup at your home, right? You only have a one grinder, one coffee machine, maybe one brewer. You don't have to think about it. Okay, just get up in the morning, make yourself coffee. I mean, that's what you want, okay? But 
un un unless the coffee is your hobby, we always, I mean, I always go back to the hobby aspects of it, okay? Always go back to hobby. If your coffee is hobby, now you have more choices. But, you know, again, I mean, so the, uh, hold on. We have a uh, opinion on the Sage uh, Brista Pro and their grinders. Advice dialing in new coffee. Uh, I always advise you guys start with the half, right? The grinder setting at half. Okay, if you are if you have grind uh, if you are using the Express, start with the seven or eight. If you are using the Pro, start with maybe twelve or thirteen. Okay, start with that, and then based on that results, and just go from there. Go to coarser or finer. All right, I mean, you should be you you, you should be able to dial dial in about maybe second or third shots. Okay. Okay, folks, I think we are good for this morning session. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, Friday, we are going to have some special guests on Friday afternoon session. Uh, hopefully, uh, he's going to join us from Australia. It's, it should be fun, I mean, if he shows up. So we're going to do some live streaming as well. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, and see you guys soon.